Hey, morning athletes. So because of this lockdown, I have had to wait forever for this, but yeah, ASG has finally delivered this. So we're still under lockdown, but level four. So luckily they still can deliver certain things. So this is one of them. Luckily it's small, it's light, it's something really cool. I'm gonna unbox this today and I've got quite a bit of information for those of you who are like me, data and aero geeks. This is something that I think you're gonna really, really like. But first, coffee. It's still early morning, so let's get into this. So let's check this bad boy out. It's actually really cool that they've delivered it now. So we can actually unbox this and see what it's all about. So, so like I was saying with the other helmets and stuff, Rudy Project, there we go. Rudy Project are really good when it comes to their helmets. Um, the designs are pretty sweet, but I mean, other than that, they obviously adhere to a lot of safety standards. Um, I think it's the 1078 European standard, really important ones. I mean, nowadays, if you buy a helmet, they have to meet that criteria, you know, in order to be safe enough for you to purchase. And here we go. This is the Volantis. I got it in the black and yellow color, but they're also available in uh, plain black. There's some other ones I saw really funky colors, um, but this is one that I really like. So, pretty cool. There we go. So, I must say as well, the Volantis does not come um, standard with the visor. The visor is an optional extra if you really want it. So, I got it with the visor, which is right here. I'm going to open that bad boy up too, but first. Before you do anything, you can actually have a look at the huge venting systems. So this is an aero helmet. Let me check that out. It's got a scoop on top of here. And then at the back as well. And then huge ones there. Retention system. Very cool. So this one over here actually has nine vents for airflow the airframe band they call it and then the buckles on the side is the divider buckles so these are really comfortable they really are and it also has the removable uh, padding on the inside so you can remove you can, and clean them replace them if you need to and then this part over here is the adjustable retention system so most helmets now come with this and it's really important to have it because you get a really good snug fit with it it's really important most helmets actually have it so if you look inside i just want to see what the certification is yep the certification is european en 1078 so that's the safety standard of the actual helmet most helmets come with it anyway Okay, so there we go, helmet over there. Hold on to the, the normal paperwork stuff that we always pretend we're gonna read and we don't. Use the manual, I mean, if you don't know how to use a helmet, I think we should start over there. Most important, really, really important is that the helmet has a proper fit. So this size that I've got over here is a um, size small to medium because the measurement around my head is 57 centimeters so I did measure that in order just to make sure everything is cool some more paperwork on the visor throw that there and very cool elevate your performance here we go let's just open this guy up oh there we go very cool 
Okay, so this is the flip up visor. The way that guy goes in is over here. Flip the guy up, it's magnetic as well, and feed it into, it's got little slots inside. Feed it in, feed it in, clip it in. There we go. Fingerprints all over the place, but we'll sort that out. Okay, it is magnetic. That's what it looks like when it's up. So we're going to be looking like Drudge Dread over here. But there we go. So that is the Rudy Project Volantis. Just some details on this guy. Um, technology behind this is very simple. I mean, it's um, it's cast with the outer layer. It's got EPS foam inside, and it's pre it pretty much works like a crumpled zone. So what happens in an impact? It smashes and dissipates, so it takes all the pressure away from the impact going into the head and obviously it smashes. Side note for that, if you if actually ever do have a small smash, doesn't matter how badly it is, and the helmet does get a knock, replace the helmet. Just a word of advice, it's really, really important. I mean, this thing over here is gonna protect your noggin. You want that thing to be solid all the time, and they don't last forever, just for the record. So, I usually replace them every two to three years, and because of the molding inside, that actually starts to wear. Hopefully it's got lost, so <laughs> we'll see. Also, little reflectors at the back. Where is that? Oh, there we go. Reflectors at the back. It's very cool. So I have a ponytail, and when if I loosen this retention system all the way at the back, um, I usually flip my ponytail and slip it through the back over here, over there, and that's how I wear my helmet and then fasten the buckle, uh, sorry, the retention system there. Very cool, very easy, simple design. And here we go, little clipping system, quick and easy. Right, so what I wanted to show you with this helmet over here compared to the other one is the following. Give me a sec. So this guy over here is my previous helmet. This is the um, Rudy Wing 57, I think it is. Yeah, Wing 57, that's one. It's got this huge tail at the back. You know, something out of an alien movie. But the idea behind this thing is, so you have more um, aerodynamics as you're riding, because as you tuck in, this creates a um, more aerodynamic uh, position. And then it's also got this uh, vortex system where as the air comes in, it crosses and then comes out through the back over here. And here's an inlet as well. And it's pretty much it is. The problem with this helmet over here is um, during all the wind tests and whatever, it's very cool because it worked if you stay in your aero position. However, on most bikes, your aero position, if you start to look down, you tilt your head up, it creates a sail, but the sail is, breaks your aerodynamics. Especially if you're turning your heads as well, it breaks the aerodynamic as, your, um, as you turn. So, the upgrade of this over here is um, the Boost 01 and the Volantis. So the difference between these over here is the loss of the tail at the back. However, it still has the same aerodynamic advantage because of the design. So all we're doing over here is cutting out the, the tail at the back. But you keep the um, aerodynamic advantage. It's a great thing to have. It is a lot easier to carry this guy around than it is to carry this guy. So, little few different things and uh, that was the primary reason why um, these ones actually came out. So, aerodynamic, just as aerodynamic as the Wing 57, but you don't have the alien head sticking out. The whole idea behind this is the aerodynamics. So, Rudy Project has parted, partnered for the last 50 years, I think it is, with Suicide. I speak on a correction, but it's about the time, but it is definitely Suicide where they um, do the wind tunnel testing. And this is how this design has come along. So you have these ridges over here, so when you are facing into the wind, this is going to keep you cool, as well as the inflow over here, and aer an aerodynamic advantage over the top, as well as the sides. So this over here is designed to be flush like that. Obviously for a more aerodynamic 
experience, can we say. There we have it. This is the Rudy Project Volantis. And the accessory I have included is the pop-up visor. Or the flip-up visor as they call it. They call it a flip-up optical shield. At the end of the day, it's a visor. So the price in South Africa for this particular helmet originally was um, four and a half grand. But ASG online are running a special where the helmet, excluding the lens, is um, 1.5. That is a hell of a saving, but that is just for now. It's a lockdown special that they have. So if you are in South Africa, grab it before it goes. Um, additional to that would be the actual lens, depending if you want it or not. And that is an additional 800 Rand. This I got with um, the helmet all in for 1.5. So that's because a little buddy of mine has sorted me out, but this is pretty much what the costing of this actual helmet is. Uh, the normal price of the helmet going for four or five is very, it's, it's steep. It is quite expensive for a helmet, you know what I mean? Especially just an aerodynamic helmet. I mean, it's a lot of money to fork out. There are pros and cons to it, but it is not necessary to fork out that kind of money for a helmet particularly if you are like me and a newbie and starting out. But this is it. This is the Rudy Volantis and including the accessory of the flip up visor. So this is what it looks like with the visor flipped up. Kind of stupid looking, I think. But I mean, it's like a sort of like you have a cap on, but you don't have a cap on. But anyway, that's the, the whole reason it flips up is very cool. Um, don't get me wrong. It makes it a breeze to put on. You just take it, flip it on, buckle up, tighten up your little thingy at the back there, and then this is ready to go. Then as soon as you go into your race mode, boom. I told you, looks like Judge Dread. So, there's no denying that Rudy Project is on top of the game when it comes to design and aerodynamics and whatnot. All of their equipment, especially the helmets, are all wind tunnel tested with pros and the feedback pretty much comes from them. That's how they design everything and get all these funky looking alien futuristic helmets and stuff developed. Um, so these are some of the latest designs I've come up with. Other than that, they look pretty cool, don't they? Check that out. Yeah. Judge Dredd, reporting for duty.